Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another Decentralized Finance Tutorial. Today we will learn to work with one of the most important tools in DeFi and basically in finding liquidity for tokens and analyzing their charts, their liquidity, where you can trade them and basically it's the ultimate tool ultimate tool to navigate be between blockchains and DeFi ecosystems and tracking charts of coins and tokens that you want to invest in, buys and sells, liquidity market caps, the best analytical tool for DeFi and we will master it. This tool called Dex Screener and we're gonna go through it so you can learn how to use it to level up your DeFi skills and become DeFi masters, decentralized finance masters and yield farmers. So I hope you're excited and without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the name of the tool called DexScreener.com and when I was introduced to it with, from one of my friends, I was just amazed by the ease of use, the UX and the capabilities that this tool gives you. For example, let's say you want to find a token. This is, by the way, the main website where, where you can see main statistics about tokens and uh, movements of tokens and like basically across all chain, it's multi-chain, it gets data from a lot of blockchains and shows you all of the data regarding all the tokens and all the liquidity. And when you use the search bar, this is the most powerful thing. Basically, you can write a name of a token and address and it's gonna show you all the purse that this token has sorted by amount of liquidity. So the tokens with the more liquidity will be presented first and then it shows you the decentralized exchange that this pair is being traded off and the blockchain, of course, the amount of liquidity and the pair information. For example, let's search for more like obvious token like cake for PancakeSwap. And you see that very, very fast, we, we can see a lot of information about all the liquidity. If we take the first result, this is usually will be the result with the most amount of liquidity and you can see that we have a pancake swap v2 pair a cake with wrap bnb you can see the price of the cake token in dollars you can see the price change and of course the most important thing the liquidity you see that this pair has 206 million dollars of liquidity do you enjoy this video and you feel that you finally found a high quality DeFi channel on YouTube, check out my other free educational content and subscribe for a new video every day. The 24 hour volume, of course, the addresses of the pair and the cake token, and you can also click it and get into depth into the analysis of this pair data and see charts. These charts are from trading view, so you have all the capabilities and all the features that you're familiar with trading if you're a technical analyst and you want to draw like different uh, moving averages or like. I don't know, any lines on the chart so you can use it and it's live and it's amazing. This chart basically shows you all the information regarding uh, the buys and sell of the cake token in this particular pool. If we go back to the search bar and we search cake again, you can see that you have multiple pairs of cake. The first one is with Rob BNB, then we have with BUSD, USDT, and they are all sorted by liquidity. You can see that the first one is around $200 million of liquidity. The second one is lower liquidity, $14 million, $11 million. 1.5 etc so it's all pairs it basically shows you all pairs regarding uh, with a token cake because this is what we search for sort by sorted by uh, liquidity and also you can see that on the left side the left icon represent the blockchain that this uh, token is being traded this pair is basically being a part of and on the right side you see the icon of the DEX so of course cake this liquidity is on Binance Merchant and the DEX is PancakeSwap this is amazing tool super useful you can see for example here we have um, Binance Merchant and something else and for example if we scroll down a bit more we see we have pair of cake with wrapped AVAX on Trader Joe on Avalanche chain. So you can see that we have the same token on different chains but most of the liquidity of cake because this like uh, pools doesn't have much liquidity most of the liquidity exists on Binance Smart Chain unlike for example UST token if you look for UST you can see that we have liquidity on Ethereum on Uniswap USDC with UST 80 million dollars we have some liquidity of USD BUSD on PancakeSwap on Binance Smart Chain and we have 
on um, Pangolin Exchange, on Avalanche, we have USD on Harmony and Jewel in DeFi Kingdoms. So you can see that basically this DEX training website supports cross chain a lot of chains are being supported and you can search any token and find all the data the exact amazing data for this token that's why i love this tool and I use it a lot for analysis now that we understand how you to use dex training in general and how to use the search let's see how we can analyze a particular token if you have any questions ask them in the comments below or join the johnny time community on discord by clicking the link in the description it's all for free for example, let's take a look. This is the Tomb token. This is the pair of Tomb Phantom in Spooky Swap. Tomb is basically the pegged to Phantom algorithmic peg token. If you don't know what Tomb Finance is, you can check out the website. This is Tomb Finance. I will make another video to explain what it is. But this is basically a token that's supposed to be pegged to the Phantom. What I like about the X screener is in the charts, you can switch the price. Now it's in US dollars, but I want to see, for example, how Tomb is actually pegged to Phantom. So I want to see a chart that Tomb related to Phantom because the liquidity is here, Tomb with wrapped Phantom. So I can click here this button, switch to price in W Phantom. And now I can see the price of Tomb related to Phantom. And you can see right now that it's underpaid. I'm gonna scroll, the, scroll up a bit in order to minimize the chart even a bit more. And so we can get a bit back in history. And another cool thing that I want to show you is how I basically gonna draw a line. So I'm gonna take here this uh, line tool and I wanna draw the line exactly on one because in one it means that it's actually pegged to Phantom and I want to see how much it's gonna, it was under peg and above and below peg, over peg and under peg. So I'm gonna use the shift button to draw this kind of line over here. And you, you can also, this is basically trading view uh, SDK. So it's similar to trading view, the same charts. Let's draw the line as a red line. You know what, let's make it yellow. And you can see that right now the tomb is under pegged since like a uh, third March it was under pegged. And you can also go back in history in the charts. You can change it for five minutes to uh, 50 minutes candles. I changed it also to candles from line view. I like the candles view more because it gives you more details about the 15 minute um, range. You can also change it to one year chart and basically change the chart as much as you want. I like to look at like one month chart and that's, yeah, let's zoom in a bit. All right, now we're back to the original chart and you can see how many times Tomb was above peg and below peg. Now let's try to see over here. So here you can see on the bottom, uh, side of the screen, you can see all the transaction regarding this pair. So every time someone is buying or selling tomb, you will see the transaction over here. You can see the date. It's it's live, so it's connected to the blockchain and it's synchronized. You can see that someone sold, um, someone bought tomb token with the amount of one thousand five hundred dollars. This is the amount of tomb that he got, and this is the amount of wrapped phantom that he paid. And you can see also the price you can also click here on the transaction and it's going to open phantom scan and show you the exact transaction that's why i love this tool it's super uh, comfortable and useful another cool thing that i like to do i like to track uh, wells and i like to see like who is buying or selling tomb so i'm going to click here the filter bar and i'm going to filter with ten thousand dollars so i'm going to see all the swaps all the transaction that people bought and sold tomb token uh, above and below $10,000. Now I can see the whales. For example, now I can see a transaction of a whale that sold almost half a million dollars worth of tomb, which is interesting. So you want to find this whale, you can go to the transaction and then get to his wallet and analyze this wallet. And you can see that this guy basically has $1 million of USDC. Now back to our subject. Now that you understand how to track the transactions and how to track the whales using Dex Trainer, let's see the right because this is very very important to understand we can see here the price of tomb in dollars you can see the price of wrapped fandom so it's like 94 wrapped fandom per tomb it's under peg six percent under pegged and this is the most important thing you want to stay away with tokens with low amount of liquidity why because they are more they are more dangerous it, the, the chances that you will be rugged or something will going on as we speak by the way you can see the tomb is moving but the liquidity of tomb is a lot it's almost 200 million dollars and 
it's actually a big project so if you see something shady i would first like paste it to if you basically investing in a token or want to buy a token first thing i would recommend you to paste the address here and make sure that it has liquidity because if it doesn't have liquidity it might be rugged or maybe it's a small project that you want to think twice before you get into um i wouldn't get into project with less for one million dollars of liquidity but this is just my humble opinion you don't have to follow and this is in terms of liquidity this is the most important thing because that's basically the supply and this is basically the liquidity that you can buy and sell uh, this token with and these are also cool things this is basically the change of the token five minute one hour six hours and 24 hours and this is another cool thing that can show you the sentiment of the tokens are more people buying or selling it for example you can see that in the tomb token there were 47 transactions in the five minutes 47 46 swaps and 32 people bought the tomb token and 14 people sold the tomb token so you can see there are uh, more than twice people buying tomb token and then selling which is bullish in the five minutes you can also check the one hour six hour or 24 hours you can see that today around 5,000 people bought tomb token and 2,500 people um, sold tomb token we don't know what is the amount but we know in general that there were more buy transactions that then sell transactions which is a nice indicator for our analysis also you can see the daily volume of buys and sells it's 11 million dollars this is not much regarding to the cap of 287 million dollars but it's a volume that people are buying and selling tomb tokens if you want to take more in-depth analysis to the pair of or to the tomb address you can basically take a look here and if you scroll down over here you can directly trade it on spooky swap so it's gonna send you it's gonna open an iframe i don't like to use the iframe so i'm gonna click here to open a new tab it will be easier to trade directly in spooky swap it's basically gonna redirect you to the dex that the liquidity is on to the to the swap page and bog swap is another option because they also support it and here you will see a short description about the project what is tomb uh, the website twitter telegram and discord so this is the basically the main features of dex trader that i use and i love to analyze token to see their price actions buys and sells amount of liquidity uh, look at charts and it's an amazing tool and basically i hope that it was useful for you this tutorial another cool feature that i want to show you is the new purse and the trends i like to look at the trends because you can see for example um gainers and losers let's take a look at gainers and losers and you can see all the gainers and losers in the one hour 24 hours you can sort it you can check the amount of liquidity for example you can see over here there is a token called ncaa with eth on uniswap that appreciated 23,000 percent in the last 24 hours now it's cool and you're, you're gonna look at it and see oh my god people got millionaires it's 23x on your money but bear in mind that the liquidity is only 300,000 300,000 dollars so people did not become millionaires out of this uh, token because there is no liquidity this is only 300,000 dollars this is the maximum amount of money that you can make on this token so when people tell you oh my god look at this token i could be a millionaire no you couldn't be a millionaire because the liquidity is only 300,000 dollars you could do 22 weeks on your money if you put 1000 dollars yeah you would have enough of liquidity you would earn like very nice money but not millionaires because the liquidity is the most important thing and you can see that this token that move a lot usually it's because they have less liquidity so you need less money in order to move it so for example if the liquidity is only three hundred sixty thousand dollars you don't need that much money to move it like two weeks to move it two weeks you just need three hundred thousand dollars so this is how AMMs and DEXs work. So this is about the video about DEX trainer. Let me know if you have any questions, what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for learning here with me in Johnny time and I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye bye.